Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys my everyday summer makeup tutorial. This is literally what I do every single day. So the first thing I usually do is go in and prime and I did go ahead and apply this matcha green tea antioxidant priming moisturizer first. I figured I'd use that in the place of my um, in place of my touch and soul one because I'm filming the application of this for my Ipsy unboxing. And so I did go ahead and do that, but you guys know I do like to take also something that's going to help with the pores. So for today, I'm going to take my Pores No More Luminizer, Luminizer Primer, and we're just gonna go ahead and add this to our face. And so what I always do is I will let my primer sink in. Hold on, I forgot this today. So for today, we'll take my Wet n Wild Cucumber Spray. Okay, so while all of that is always setting in, I do like to go ahead and go in with my brows. Now for every day, I'm not going in with the pomade and as you guys could tell, I've been using my Lash and Brow Builder Sand. So my brows are not as sparse as they once used to be or as light and thin. So I do have a little bit of thickness to them now. So now it's gonna be a lot easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil and I'm just gonna fill these in just a little bit and just give them some shape and some depth to them. But it's not as if I were going to be doing a whole full dramatic face of makeup. Okay, so for, that is it for that. So you see like it's not too much. It still looks very natural, but it definitely looks a little bit more filled in than this side. So that's just like what I like to do for an everyday basis. Okay, so there we go. It's not too dark. It looks a lot more better than bald spots. And then that is all I do for the brows on an everyday basis. So for something like this, I don't go in with my eyes first. I just don't. So the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is take this Mary Kay CC Cream. This is beautiful for every day and it has your sunscreen of SPF 15, yeah. Sunscreen broad, broad spectrum SPF. I have mine in medium deep, I believe. Yeah, medium to deep. So you guys know I'm gonna just gonna pump it. I haven't been outside in a while because of the surgery. Oh, I need to get outside. I was getting tan at the beginning of summer. I was getting like super tan and then the surgery happened and I haven't gone outside in three weeks. <laughs> so yeah. So let's go ahead. And this is a lot thicker than you would imagine for a BB cream. It's more moussey. I mean a CC cream. It is more moussey and it has a lot more coverage than you would think. So I do like to just go in with my Her Beauty sponge. And just start pressing that in and you do have to build up the coverage like it's not super full coverage and you do have to build it up but it is blendable and I have tried this with both a brush and the sponge and you guys know I'm just a sponge person so I'm gonna take a little bit more and just build it up on those breakout areas also did you guys notice how much more clear my skin is like man I don't know what happened after my surgery but my skin flipped the flip out I'm going to take a one more pump and I'm just gonna go ahead and for video reasons or for this not even for video reasons just because I really feel like since I did break out I'm having a lot more to cover up right here so I'm just gonna go in with my Anastasia my ABH A30 foundation brush and I'm just gonna try to build that up right here on my cheeks And one thing that I do love about this um, CC cream is that it is for medium to deep, but it does have technology in it to where it is going to help like adjust, adjust itself to like your perfect shade. Okay, so that is a little bit better. As you can see, we are very glowy. 
Okay, and so then I like to take something that's kind of hydrating and I have been uh, having a lot of trouble sleeping lately. So usually um, I would take my Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Concealer and it's just a little bit light coverage. It's lighter coverage. There's like not, <laughs> there's good coverage, but it's lighter coverage and it's really pretty and glowy. But for today, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And like I said, I'm taking this one because I have a little bit more to cover up because like I said, I have been having just a little bit of trouble sleeping and no bueno. Not good for the dark spots. And then I'm also gonna drag this onto my eye, eyelid. I don't know if you guys paid attention in my Juvia's Place video, but I really have been using like less concealer, like barely enough to cover up and to highlight. And I've really been liking that approach to applying my makeup. So we're not gonna set just yet because for every day, I really do like something that's more glowy and it's gonna make me look more alive and it's gonna make my skin look like skin. So I try to kind of, I don't know, add more underneath. And I also want it to last all day because if I'm doing an everyday makeup look that means that you know it's not just for nighttime like I need this to last all day so what I'm gonna do for blush is I'm gonna take my milk makeup um stick blush you can use this on your lips too this is their lip and cheek stick and this is in the shade work so I'm just gonna apply just a little bit on my cheeks like this and you can apply it with put it on your sponge and then blend it out you could tap your finger in it and tap it out with your um uh, fingers I like to do it just whichever way is going to be faster and usually that's going directly in on my face and then go taking my splint my sponge and blending it out just a little bit and that is what we have super cute super duper cute and then I do also take um a kind of a liquid a uh, more natural highlight so i really like my ciate dewy stick for this these are their dewy sticks and mine's in the shade glow and i like to take this with my finger because i've learned that if you go in directly with the stick it can disturb the product underneath so for this one i do like to take this stick the take it on my finger and then just tap it out over those places that i usually highlight And then I do go ahead and set all of that down and I don't set heavily. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take my Juvia's Place White Sands powder for this. And we're gonna set the under eye first. First we blend out creases. And we're gonna take some up on our eyelid to set down that concealer that we put up. Ooh, took a lot. Okay, and then we're gonna do just like in that video and take a powder brush and just lightly dust it on the rest of our face. Okay, and so I will go ahead and finish up my face first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this bronzer, and I haven't used this bronzer since I've done my video with it. So I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer in the shade Coco Cutie, and we're just gonna slowly and lightly build this up. So that is it for this, but since we have this out on an everyday basis, what I like to do is take a more fluffy crease brush like this, and all I'm gonna do is throw this into my crease. Just lightly toss it into my crease. And then I do like to go ahead, and because anytime you set, you're gonna take a smidge of that color that we put underneath away. So I'm gonna go in with my Lovecraft Beauty um, palette because it has the most toned down blushes. I'm gonna take this shade right here, this Dauphine shade, and we're just gonna apply that to our cheeks. Okay, and then for highlight, 
Now here's my favorite part, because I do like a more subtle highlight every day. And this is a great palette for somebody who doesn't want a huge makeup collection because these ones that don't look so like foiled like these other ones are actually really natural. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of this one right here and apply that to all my usual highlighting places. Okay, and so now that we're done with all of that, we are gonna go in with our eyes. And what I'll do is, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a simple shimmery, uh, simple shimmer eyeshadow that will kind of match the bronzer a little bit. So for today, I'm taking this Il Maquillage um, eyeshadow, and this is Eyes on the Prize, and this is just what it looks like. Got it in this month's Ipsy, and so now what I'll do is I'm literally just going to take my finger, tap it in here, and you guys, this goes a little bit of this goes a really long way look at this it's almost like a cream it's crazy so yeah I'm just gonna take a little bit and just pat it right there on my eyes just to add a little something something you know to your everyday look and then you don't have to be precise with this I guess this is an everyday look so it's not like you have to do a whole cut crease Pat it on your eye and then go in with that same brush that you applied your bronzer with and just blend that out, just blend it. Just, you know, make it look decent. I mean, you don't wanna look a hot mess. So that is really pretty. And then on an everyday basis, you guys, I'm not taking a big old dramatic falsies, big old dramatic falsies, I'll just take something simple so what i'm gonna, I'm gonna try this today this is the tart c surfer curl tart c surfer curl volume mascara got this in this month's ipsy as well so what we're gonna do is just take that out the packaging of this is so pretty and simple like oh that's such pretty packaging and then this is just what the wand i'm gonna put that down this is just what the wand is looking like so oh, I'm excited. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this. I don't know why. I've also been using my lash and brow builders brow builder serum on my lashes and they get a little thick. Haven't noticed a change in length much. Maybe like a smidge, but not like a ton. Like I don't all didn't all of a sudden wake up with brand new lashes. But they are definitely like I am definitely getting like more actual eyelash hairs. That's actually really pretty. And I'm pretty sure when I curl them after they dry, they're just gonna be beautiful. So what I'm gonna do just to make my eyelashes look even more like va va boom, I'm gonna take this Real Her I Am Amazing eyeliner. And this is just a retractable eyeliner. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tight line with that just to make my eyelashes look a little bit thicker. I'm not gonna put any on the bottom because like I said, this is an everyday makeup look. So I really, really want it to just seem like everyday. So I want my eyes bright and open, but I also do want my lashes to look more thicker and fuller at the top. Okay, and then this is just what this is going to swatch like. It's like super pigmented and super creamy and it applied really fast. Okay, so that is it for that. And then obviously now I will go ahead and go in and apply bottom mascara. Okay, so I actually really like this mascara, you guys. Like it's really, really pretty. Really pretty. And light and like even the packaging and light, like everything about this is light. The colors are light and calming. The packaging is light. It's nothing like the big ego heavy packaging. It's really, really light. And so I, Last but not least, we are gonna go ahead and go in with lips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner, and this is just an everyday color. This is in the shade Blushing. This is just to add a little bit of depth to my lips because I already have pigmented lips, but I like to add just a little bit more. Okay, so 
like I said, pretty much an everyday color. I feel like I... And then I'm going to take a gloss. I do this every day. I throw on a lip liner and then I just put a gloss on top because even once the gloss wears off, usually your lip liner will stain your lips. So you still have something there. And then the gloss is just so easy to reapply throughout the day. So for today, I'm going to take this Nature's Cartel Brilliant Lip Gloss. And this one is in the shade BCR Static, which is actually a perfect name because it's just like this pretty glittery like it looks like it's gonna be white glitter but it's actually iridescent pink so that is super pretty and so we'll just add this to our lips we are gonna go ahead and just set down with some elf brow wow brow setting gel and this is gonna add a little bit of pigment back for if we lost any blending out product and just make sure that they stay in and this is the shade Deep Brown. Okay. Alrighty then. So, then I do always set, so I'm just gonna take what we use to prime. Ooh, push it in like always. Okay guys, and that is it for today's makeup video. I'm loving all of the products that I use today. This is really, really fast. You could do this if you're a mom on the run. You can cut out some of these steps, like, okay, maybe you only have time to do one blush and one highlighter. Cut that out and you could save yourself five to 10 minutes. And so yeah, this could easily be a 10 minute makeup. It also obviously took me 20 minutes just building up mascara. That's probably gonna be the longest thing because like I said, since, take this off my hand. Because since this is a more natural everyday makeup look, you are going to have to build up that mascara, but at least you're not taking five to 10 minutes applying eyelashes. And so, yeah, you know, I'm somebody who loves eyelashes. I sell eyelashes, but sometimes you just, you know, you just need a good, pretty, natural, everyday look. And that is what this video is here for. So, you know, if you're a mom on the go or, you know, you're wanting something light because you don't want your face mask during this time to be messing up your makeup, I've wore this with my face mask. And even though it would rub off on my face mask, like it didn't disrupt what was underneath. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.